Okay, to grab a portfolio template, I am going to navigate to the master site www.rst2.edu forward slash masters. On the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and go to our Moodle site. Once here, I'm going to click on Core Courses and I can click on any of the brain sections because that will take me to where I need to go. I don't have to log in. I can certainly just get by with doing login as guest. Scroll down, find the area called Dreamweaver, and now we are at our Dreamweaver area. On the left hand side, I'm clicking on All Templates, and notice that I have portfolio templates here as well as basic web quest template. The process that I'm about to follow will be the exact same process that you would do with the WebQuest template as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on Portfolio Templates one time. Notice that I've got a variety of different directions here, plus I've got some learning pieces here that we will get to at a later point. Also notice that I am using Internet Explorer. Now you can use any browser you want, however using Internet Explorer for this particular process is easier. If you do not have Internet Explorer, you will want to follow these directions that are listed right here on the screen at the front end. But because we are using Internet Explorer, I'm going to go ahead and click on Basic Layout, and this is a basic template here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a copy of this template, save it in the appropriate place, and then get ready to edit. It. So, first thing I'm going to do is come up here to the word File. I'm going to come down to the words Save As. Now, this is very important that we get this in the correct location. I'm going to go ahead and go to my computer here on the left hand side, and I am using a drive I today. Oops, never mind. I'm using a drive J. Here is my name folder. I'm going to double click into my name folder. Now this portfolio becomes the menu system for all of my projects, not simply just my brains class. So in this particular file, I do not want to go into the brains. Obviously I do not want to go into my site definitions. I simply want to be at my name folder. Naming is very important here and I'm going to start by naming this index. I'm going to go ahead and name it .index.html, although that's going to change here in a second, and I'm going to have to change it back. Super important, I want to choose web page HTML only. Notice that there is a web page complete and a web archive. I want the one that says web page HTML only. Notice that Internet Explorer unkindly dropped an L off for me. I want to put that L back in there. Once again, as a visual, here I'm at my name folder. I've named it index.html. I've selected web page HTML only, and I'm going to click on Save. Now I already had a copy in there, which is why it asked for me to replace it, but you would not have had that. And that is all there is to grabbing a template in order to edit it.